Don't you just love hopping into a good new solo challenge in Madden 23? No, you don't. You like beating them. And in today's video, I'm going to showcase some glitch plays to beat every single solo in Madden 23 as quickly as possible. Now, the way I'm going to structure this video is pretty simple. We'll start it off by going over all the offensive tips you need to know. So that's going to include how to dice up defenses on arcade mode or competitive, as well as how to run the football on arcade mode or competitive. Then after that, we'll move on over to the more important and I guess more difficult part of the video, which is defense. And I have a glitch play for you guys that's going to beat you every single defensive solo on arcade mode in one play. And after I show you guys that, I'll also talk about getting stops on competitive. So let's get started with the offensive side of things. And as we do so, I want to quickly explain something that I just mentioned that could definitely confuse some people. Okay, so when you're playing solo challenges in Madden 23, there's two different modes you're going to be playing them on. The first one right here is arcade mode. As you can see, under the quarter, it says arcade, and typically as you raise up the star count for a lot of solos, that'll end up changing to competitive. Now, this isn't going to be the case for every single solo. As you can see, for the ones in Canvas Heroes, when we put them on full star, they go to competitive. But if we played a solo in like Team of the Week, for example, and we played it on full star, it would only be on arcade. And again, like I mentioned, there's different plays you guys are going to be using, whether or not you're playing a solo on arcade or whether you're playing it on competitive. But without further ado, let's get started and let's start with offense. Now for a solo like this, that's going to require you to gain yards or score a touchdown. Typically what we're going to do is we're going to pass the football. It's a lot more effective than running the ball. Of course, when you need to get rushing yards, uh, you will need to use some of the running plays I show you guys here. But for the time being, let's do some passing. Now I'm currently operating out of the Lions offensive playbook and and there's two offensive plays I want to show you. The first one right here is very simple. It's out of gun, empty, base, flex, and we're going to call this play verticals. Now, depending on the team you're playing, there's kind of three different reads you can make. It's either going to be X, it's going to be R1, or it's going to be O. So all I'm doing is I'm looking to this right side of the field, and whoever gets open, I'm just going to throw them the football. Donald Parham right here is picking up about 50 yards, and just like that, we actually score a one-play touchdown. And again, that was completed on competitive mode. Arcade mode is going to be a lot easier. On arcade mode, you're going to get more catches, you're going to break more tackles. On competitive mode, typically it's supposed to be harder. And again, uh, let me show you guys this play one more time. You're looking to the right side of the field. It's either X, it's R1, or it's O. It looks like we're getting a little bit of press man coverage, and X is just going to absolutely slice up man. I will say this here, it's a lot harder to find like these one play touchdown plays. So we got to kind of use something like this. And of course, you guys can also throw it to other players on the field. So R1 is going to be a really, really good zone beating route. If your opponent's in like cover three, a uh, cover two, whatever it may be, R1 is really nice for about 20 yards, and then O is going to get open as well sometimes on the boundary right here. As you guys can see, uh, that was like a little cover two defense. We throw it to O, we run by everyone. We're getting a lot of one-play touchdowns. Typically, it's going to be hard to find a one-play TD in this game, but this play right here, it's awesome for arcade mode. It's awesome for competitive. Any passing solo you need, you're getting it done in maybe two plays. Now, one other passing play I want to show you guys, if maybe you're having some difficulty with that last play, is going to be able to gun trips, tight end flex, and it's it's this play in the bottom right corner. My face game is completely covering it. It's called PA Crossers. It's the first one on the screen, and it looks just like this. All you're doing is you're streaking X, and you're throwing it to O. It's very simple. There's only one read on this play. You're literally only throwing it to O. Man coverage, zone coverage, it won't matter. He's open. This is zone right here, and as you can see, he's going to be wide, wide open. It's a little harder to get one play touchdowns on this, but it's going to be man coverage or zone. So if you're running that last play, and maybe you're having some difficulties, you can also try this. And just to show you guys, guys, one more time right here. This is looking like man coverage. Hopefully it is man so I can show you guys how this looks against man. It's basically just going to clear it out for O. He's going to run right under. He's going to be wide open as you guys can see. At that time, we only pick up like 15 yards. Both those plays are going to be really good though. Now, I think we can all agree. Passing solos are some of the easiest challenges in this game, but where it gets a little bit more difficult is running the football. And of course, for the rushing plays as well as the passing plays I've showed you guys in the video, I am playing on competitive mode. So if you use these on arcade, these plays will be even better than they are on competitive. And yeah, the first play I'm going to show you is out of I form slot close. I'm just going to put in my starting running back to Marco Murray right here so we get a better back and we're running out of I form slot close. All we're doing is we're calling the play stretch. Again, my face cam is covering it. It's the one one row down and on the right side. Now, all I'm going to do before I snap this is flick my right stick to the left. What that's going to do is it's going to flip the run play and running this football to the left is just so much more effective than running it to the right. I would say almost every single time you run this, 
this, you're guaranteed about 15 to 20 yards. So again, we're calling the play one more time. You don't necessarily need to flip it. As you guys can see right here, it does look like the right side is going to be a little bit better, uh, but I would say nine times out of 10, you usually want to flip it because it's usually a little more effective. And look at the hole we have to run through, boys. As you can see, all we got to do is try and make a defender miss, but there's not really anything better uh, you can ask for than this. Getting a massive hole to run through, gaining like 30 yards per carry, it's as good as it gets. And again, we're just calling that HB stretch play. My face cam is covering it for some reason. We are going to flip the play, I would say, nine times out of 10. To flip the play, all you do is you flick your right stick. So if you flick your right stick to the right, the run's going to go to the right. If you flick your right stick to the left, the run's going to go to the left. And let's snap this football right here, see what type of hole can develop. One thing I do want to mention is you almost always are not going to be sprinting until you cut up field. So I'm never sprinting and holding the right trigger until I make my cut up field. Once I cut up field, then I'll sprint. Until then, I'm not. And yeah, this time we're going to run this one out to the right. It looks like there's a lot more space right here. And DeMarco Murray is just picking up massive, massive yardage. Again, it's going to be tough to find a running play that gives you like a one play touchdown. This is as good as it's going to get though. Okay, now one other running play I want to show you guys is going to be out a single back wing stack. And this one's hit or miss. I won't lie to you, but it's still worth it. It's going to be jet sweep out of single back wing stack. Again, my face cam is covering it, but what can you do? Um, it's going to be the jet sweep out of this formation, but this play is a lot less consistent. It could be a touchdown. It could gain you five yards. It could lose you yards. It's really going to be up in the air. It was really, really good last year. As you can see, uh, basically what I'll do is I'll just take the sweep. I'll get to the right sideline, and that's going to be a really good rushing play. Sometimes it's not good. Sometimes it's really good. It's hit or miss. So yeah, you guys can probably rotate between those two rushing plays right there. Again, we're out of single back, and we are going on over to single back wing stack. We're Kylan Jet Sweep, and this is like a hit or miss running play. Uh, right here, it doesn't look like it's going to be that great because there's a lot of defenders on that right side of the field. Uh, but hey, we'll try it. We'll see how we can do. Again, I don't really like to speed burst until I break through that first tackle. And like I mentioned, uh, the time I ran it before this, we got a touchdown. This time, we gain a yard. So it's really up to you as to which run play you want to use. If you use both of these, though, you're going to absolutely dominate your solos. Okay, now next up, defense, fellas. I wouldn't say there's really any solos in this game that require you to get interceptions or fumbles. It's usually not going to be that specific. Last year, they did that a bunch. This year, it's really just get a stop on the drive. So for a solo like this that says don't allow 20 yards on the drive, I'm going to start it off by playing it on one star because there's a lot of solos in this game that are defensive and on arcade mode. And there's a very different play I'm going to call on arcade mode versus competitive. And fellas, as we load into this challenge, if you could scroll down and drop a like, I'd greatly appreciate it. Just take one second. I click that like button. And while you're down there, if you want to stay up to date with a bunch of Madden 23 Ultimate Team tips and tricks, hit that sub button as well. I guarantee you, if you're subbed to the channel, your ultimate team will get better. So yeah, let's get into this challenge right here. Now, weirdly enough, the play I'm going to call is prevent. I know we're in a defensive solo swift. Why are you calling prevent? Well, the reason why is because of the fact that forcing fumbles on these types of solos is so easy. When you're on arcade mode, all you need to do is get a hit stick. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to let the CPU complete a pass. I'm going to let the CPU do what they want to do. I'm going to come up. I'm going to get a hit stick and I'm going to end the solo in one play. I don't want to take three plays. I don't want to have to get a stop on the drive. I want to end it in one play. So again, fellas, one thing I want to mention is I'm always shading over top and playing over top. So triangle left stick up and triangle right stick up. What this is going to do is it's going to make it even more likely the CPU can complete a pass. They're throwing a screen right here. Can we come up and make a hit? Can we come up and make a hit? Joiner, hit stick fumble, just like that. We recover it and we end the solo. So that's what you guys want to do if it's on arcade mode. Obviously, if you're having some difficulty with that play, uh, there's someone else you can do. I'll show you it right here. So yeah, now I'm going to replay this solo, but I'm going to put it on full star difficulty and that's going to change our mode to competitive mode, fellas. Now on competitive, it's harder to get stops. I won't lie to you, but this is the play you want to run. And of course, this play is also going to work on arcade mode. If you're playing in arcade mode solo and you're having difficulty getting these fumbles, you can also run this and get a stop really easily. Now we're going to go to formation. We're going to go on over to nickel. We're going to go to two, four, five, double mug, and we're calling the play mid blitz zero. This is just so effective. Now what I do is I press so triangle left stick down and I'm going to use her on whoever is covering the running back so as you can see uh, Dark West Denard is currently in man coverage on the running back and he is going to be who I'm usering on and essentially on a run play the CPU is just kind of being annoying if it's a passing play though what I'm going to do is I'm going to green dog on the running back so here's what that means if the running back stays in the block I come in on a user blitz if the running back goes on a route I cover him in man coverage and yeah again the setup is very simple you're pressing you're bringing down your safety and you're usering the one on the running back so Trayvon Morig right here is the one on the running back and as you can see the running back stayed into block if he stays into block you come on a 
pass rush. If he goes on a route, you cover him in man coverage. And again, fellas, the play we're calling is going to be out of nickel. I am currently in Baltimore Ravens defense. It's 2-4-5 double mug. All I'm doing is pressing, so triangle left stick down. I bring down both the safeties. So Morig, I'll bring him down, put him right in front of the tight end, and then Joyner um, is going to be in a green dog on the running back. As you can see, this time he goes out on a route. So when he goes on a route, you got to cover him because he's your man coverage responsibility. But of course, when the running back stays in the block, then you have the opportunity to blitz the quarterback. So that's what you guys want to do right there. This is a very, very glitchy way to get stops in this game. As you can see, we've gotten like three straight sacks. If you're going to use this play, all I ask is that you scroll down and drop a like on the video. This is going to make those defensive solos so much easier, man. So again, it's mid blitz zero. We're going to press. It's already third and 19. After a couple big sacks, we bring down those safeties and we green dog. It's called on the running back and they take it to the two minute warning. They're worried, man. So yeah, let's call this play again one more time right here. It's really, really effective for getting stops. Bring down both your safeties. User on the one on the running back and you're either blitzing or you're covering him. As you can see, that time the running back is blocking and we just got three straight sacks to beat this solo. No matter what the challenge is, no matter what you got to do, even if it's like don't allow five yards on the drive, you can do it by running this play. And yeah, that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Some very, very important stuff when it comes to beating solos in this game. I'll be sure to hit that sub button if you have not yet done so. And if you guys want to see the best challenges to play in Madden 23, oh my goodness, click right here. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.